I got involved uh, through a company I was working with at the time called Tropical Blend. And the owner said, this stand-up thing is blowing up. And it'd be really wise for you to get, in, get into the sport. And uh, it's another revenue source for you. you. You've got the surfboard thing down. You can make good longboards. There's no reason why you can make, can't make stand-up boards, because it's, 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 this thing's going to blow up. This sport's going to go off. So I, I uh, went out with him and tried some boards and tried some Angulo boards. At the time, uh, Ed Angulo was making boards for the shop. And I kind of liked the whole paddling thing. Uh, I come from a pad lay down paddle background and it, it, was, it was the same thing. The act of surfing is, is natural because I've been a surfer all my life. And so uh, I started designing the boards for the shop and started getting liking the, the sport itself and um, evolved from there. I had been building boards, like I said, for uh, a company in town, Tropical Blend, and uh, Kamaki came to me and I've known him, you know, from just surfing. And I, and I had seen him out here, you know, uh, doing stand-up and uh, I was kind of intrigued on how fast he was making sections. Um, I was introduced to him on the North Shore when I moved out here through a friend who said, hey, maybe you know you should try one of his boards. There was a surf contest on the South Shore in Waikiki. And uh, he came to me one day and just says, I wanna, want you to work with me in building a board. And um, I entered it using his board and I won it, first place. I think it was, well, a lot of it, so-called pros at the time were in the island and the state was in it and he won it on the first board I built him. Um, I knew that uh, it was a good combination. Um, he listens to my ideas, I listen to his ideas. Always the, the best rule in any design, in any sport, is having an open mind to, and having the, the um, the confidence to make uh, big, bold decisions and try new stuff. So I ain't cool, so I ain't gotta be so When somebody comes to me and asks me to make a board, I'm not giving that person three, four hours of my time or an hour and a half for a surfboard. I'm giving that guy 30 years of experience. And translating all those years of experience into foam to build this board that's gonna give this guy hopefully pleasure out in the water in whatever uh, discipline he wants, whether it's a surfboard, a paddleboard, a lay-down paddleboard, a stand-up race board, or a stand-up surfboard. All those years are put into that piece of work that I'm, I'm doing. And that's, you know, I'm just like into the zone and I build this guy's board. And that's, when somebody wants a board, that's what they're going to get from it. You know, they're going to get value for the money they're going to lay out. And that's just how I operate.